Hello! Lately I've been wondering about getting a King of Tone from Analog Man. Uh, I've uh, seen a lot of demos uh, from other guitar players using it and they talk highly of it. I thought I should get one just to see uh, what it is, um, if it's something for me. And I, uh, I went on the webpage uh, for analogman.com and here it says uh, status as of on today's date of October 26, uh, 2021. That's not, that's quite recent. The status here is that the King of Tone is no shipping to people who got on the waiting list on or any time before October 14th, 2017. That's four years. Four years waiting list. I need to think about that. But uh, let's see if there are any used. Maybe uh, Reverb uh, has something. Yes, there are quite a few on Reverb. Um, but the prices are quite interesting though, they vary from 619 euros, the cheapest I can find, uh, till uh, 1105 euros. No, I'm not doing that. I have to say that uh, I haven't tried an original King of Tone from Analog Man. I've seen a lot of demos and uh, listened to other guitar players uh, um, on YouTube. Uh, so it's of course, uh, I can't compare to having one uh, yourself playing it. But I have an idea of uh, what to expect. What I, what I did is uh, I decided to get the clone. Um, because uh, if you go on YouTube, there are quite a few uh, clones of the King of Tone and uh, they even look similar. There's uh, one here from LY Rock called the King of Clone and I decided to uh, hunt it down and I found it on aliexpress.com um, Here you can see it, uh, King of Clone from LY Pedals. So it has the same housing, same color more or less it looks like, uh, same knobs and uh, layout. But it has a different logo here and it says also that it's the king of clone. So yeah, well, let's get it. $68, not much to think about. But what I got instead of the one that was pictured was this one. So it's a clear copy of the original uh, King of Tone from Analog Man. And the only thing that, uh, that says that this is not the original is a small print here that says LY Rock. And um, clearly this is a clear ripoff of the original. Uh, so I'm not happy about that. I, I didn't expect that. So yeah, so I wrote a review on the page that sells these pedals uh, telling them that uh, I was not happy at all receiving this pedal um, when it looks like the original. It's, uh, it's a fake and um, of course it didn't take long until they just removed my review. So it's no longer there. So um, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to destroy the looks of this pedal. Uh, I'm going to try and paint something over it or, or uh, We'll make it uh, clear that this is a fake pedal. Let's see if I can just uh, just uh, destroy it with uh, So I think this is better. You agree? Is the King of Tone fake man? I should do it. So just so nobody sells this and uh, so let's have a look inside this uh, fake man uh, pedal. So to me it looks like uh, the layout is quite similar to what I've seen uh, from the original one. And you have this uh, dip switch uh, part uh, with the one, two, three and four. As it is said in, in this picture, uh, one side is now overdrive and the other side is clean boost. But I will also test it uh, with the one side set as distortion. The fake man. Let's hear it. Let's hear how it sounds. So here's my clean tone. Uh, it's not breaking up, it's uh, just clean. Uh, 
I'm playing it through my uh, Krona for Dumble uh, ODS 50 watts uh, and um, going through this uh, speaker cabinet with a 12 inch cannabis Rex. Yeah, so I'm first gonna use the, the amp set clean, no breakup, uh, to listen to the pedal and then I'm gonna set the amp to be more on the edge of breakup or straight above the edge of breakup. So uh, I'm going to use the Sweet Honey Overdrive from Mad Professor as a reference to this. I've set now the Fake Man to be quite similar to what I've set my uh, Mad Professor. So here's the Mad Professor. Overdrive channel on the Fake Man. And the distortion side. And one thing that surprises me a bit is that the two sides are quite similar. I, I think that the, the left side now, uh, which is the distortion side, is a bit warmer in tone. So um, let's uh, play a little Not sure if it cleans up uh, that well. Well, I have to go a bit uh, far down on the volume for it to clean up. But uh, let's see uh, compare it to the Sweet Honey Overdrive on that side. Fake man. Well, not that big of a difference. Um, let's uh, increase the gain uh, and see what happens. On the overdrive side, gets a bit loud, so I'm turning down the volume. Same with the distortion side. I think that was said a bit louder to be fair. Let's get uh, the distortion side also a bit up. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's a bit warmer and uh, more creamy, I guess, on the distortion side. Yeah, we should stack them, shouldn't we?
Okay. Sounds fab to me. Let's see what happens if we uh, get the amp to be in um, more breakup. Okay, so the amp is now more set to be at the edge of breakup. And the overdrive now. quite clear on what to say about this uh, replica that came as a clear uh, copy of the design on the King of Tone from Analog Man. Uh, that's, uh, that's a no-go. Um, shouldn't do that. And I hope uh, the guy that makes this uh, goes back to his uh, design that at least uh, there was a clear uh, difference from the real thing. But um, I hope if you get one of these, uh, do something similar to the design so it's not mistaken and could be passed on at, uh, as one of the originals from uh, Analog Man. That being said, um, this pedal impressed me. Uh, I have no idea if it's um, anywhere near the real thing. So I, I will probably uh, get on the waiting list um, because um, uh, if it's, uh, if it's better than this, uh, it's absolutely worth uh, getting the real thing. Because this one is very good and when I compare it to my favorite overdrive, the Sweet Honey Overdrive from uh, Mad Professor, it doesn't stand back. Uh, and uh, the two channel thing is uh, also something that uh, I like because uh, you could choose to, to have one side as just a clean boost. As it's set now, I have one side as overdrive and the other side as a distortion side. And as you could hear, um, hopefully, um, the distortion side seemed a bit warmer in tone. So I'm a bit afraid of recommending this pedal that if this guy keeps on uh, pushing the design that is on this pedal now. Maybe if we all uh, write to him and uh, encouraged him to stop and go back to um, calling it the king of clone instead. Okay, that's it from me. Bye for now.